I had heard a lot about Calvin's before coming here. A lot of my friends freshman year would talk about it, like this is where they would go to do all their homework. I remember walking in here and not knowing where to order coffee. So I just sat in the tape, like on one of the tables, because I didn't know what to do and there were people in here. So I just sat there for about 20 minutes and pretended to do homework on my computer, but I really wanted coffee. And then there was an event happening, so I just left. <sighs> and then I made plans to come back here. My first memory of Calvin's was the queer open mic night um, with the Pride Student Union and Calvin's collab. Um, and I came with a bunch of my friends, and I was like, oh, that sounds like a gay old time. So uh, we went, and it was great. I learned about Calvin's through a mutual friend that I had worked with at a summer camp. I ended up just like showing up kind of randomly out of the blue one day. I was like, oh, like I've, I've heard about this place before. Let me go in and see what it's all about. Um, and I walked in almost immediately. There was just a strong sense of community that I felt really called to be a part of. So I just kept coming back and here we are. When I applied to Calvin's, I was already pretty active in the community. I was really active with the Ukirk community. I just, I wanted to be a barista. I wanted to be more in the community. I wanted to get to know these people and actually have more like stake in what was happening here. In other places that I had been, whether it was a coffee shop or not, there was like a sense of expected normalcy that people kind of adhere to, like a social contract where you come in, you get your coffee, you sit down, you do your schoolwork, you leave. Um, but that wasn't Calvin's. Calvin's was, you come in, you get distracted because you run into a friend you took a class with three semesters ago and you sit down and have coffee with them and then you attend another little small group and then another one and you just kind of hop back and forth. And then you end up sitting behind the bar with one of the baristas because they could tell you were having a bad day and you have a 45 minute conversation with them. So uh, I think the atmosphere and the energy in Calvin's um, is calming and energizing at the same time. When Calvin's is open, it's a completely different energy. There's people filled in all the booths. Usually when you walk in, you know about 50% of the people here. There's always musicians somewhere playing music. There's always people laughing. There's usually at least one artist making art. Um, and there's just this energy I don't think I've ever seen anywhere else before. Every time someone walks in, I'm like, hey, how are you? How you been? Like, what's going on and like regular customers, even if, even if I've only seen them like once or twice, um, people are just so friendly. Uh, and I feel like we don't get a lot of that nowadays. You get a lot of like, hi, and then like people look the other way. Um, but here, I, I feel like people are like free to be friendly. I love the people I work with. <laughs> I feel like I'm friends with all of the baristas. Um, but I also feel safe to be myself around all of the baristas. So even when I first started working here, I didn't know everyone, but I felt like comfortable, like sharing different parts of myself that I wasn't comfortable sharing anywhere else in the world. It wouldn't be the same atmosphere at all if we if we were just coworkers, and it's instead more like a like a little family, and we all work together to make all of our customers feel like one family, one community. We really put the love people in love people love coffee. <sighs> that, that was rambling. That was great. No, that was literally. <laughs>